Have you seen any suspicious characters lurking about? Don't let your guard down for an instant. Of course. I will let the others on watch know. You. You're one of Cao Cao's men. So, Cao Cao, you wish to make an enemy of me? Do you? Lu Bu, cut this imbecile to shreds. Hmph. Huh. What a pathetic charade. I will end this foolishness now. So, that's Lu Bu. I doubt I'll be able to deal with Dong Zhuo after facing him. Forgive me, Cao Cao. I am left with little choice but to retreat. This can't be. Shall fight to the death. Set. It seems that Dong Zhuo constantly has Lu Bu by his side. He must place great trust in him. Either that, or he simply mistrusts everybody else. As long as Lu Bu is with him, it's going to be rather difficult to assassinate Dong Zhuo. We can always find another way to deal with Dong Zhuo. Although, we should worry more about the fact that he's currently the one targeting us. It seems he's no longer in Luo Young. What is our next move, Cao Cao? Our attempts at a more subtle approach have failed. So now, we have no choice but to try and amass the strength we require to overcome him. Strength? So you mean raise an army? In that case, we should probably head to Chiao first. I get it. If we're raising an army, 
Tiao is the perfect place for it since we're where our lord is from. There must be numerous people there willing to follow him. Yes. We leave for Chiao immediately. Welcome back, everybody. While you were gone, we received a letter from Master Yuan Chao. From Yuan Chao? Let me see it. The traitor Deng Zhuo must be punished. We call upon those who wish to put an end to his tyranny to assemble in Luoyang. Ha 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 ha! This is quite the call to arms. It doesn't entirely seem like a move Yuan Shao would make, though. Cao Cao, is this what you meant when you said you'd take care of things? Indeed. Once my move failed, I knew Dong Zhuo's gaze would turn towards Yuan Shao, due to our friendship. As such, Yuan Shao would be forced to make a move. I simply gave him a gentle push to ensure he didn't back out. With his family's reputation, it is easy for him to send out the call to arms to take down Dong Zhuo. Huh. It seems Yuan Shao actually did the honorable thing for a change. I had no idea you were thinking so far beyond the failed assassination attempt. You're really something, my lord. However, we cannot rest just yet. Dong Zhuo will resort to bribes and threats to drive a wedge between the coalition members. We must end this before that happens. Okay. I see how we must proceed forward. But what are you planning to do about your army? In addition to troops, you're going to need equipment and supplies. I can sell my personal effects in order to raise the funds we require. I barely stay here as it is. You're really committing to this, my lord. There's no turning back now. Let's get moving. Zhao Ren, why are you always so serious? You used to be, well, quite a bit more, how should I put it, mischievous. That's the word. <clears throat> Speak no more of it. I'm a very different person now. I would prefer that you not bring up my past. Master Cao Cao boldly attempted to assassinate the corporate tyrant Dong Zhuo. This was an act of true courage. And this courage has drawn many warriors to him. I, myself, am one of those warriors. I intend to prove my worth to Master Cao Cao. Listen to this, about Lord Cao Cao. He's full of righteous justice, he really is. He truly hates the tyranny of Dong Zhuo. Ah, what resolve. I'm almost moved to tears. However, such resolve only matters if it lasts. Let's see how he handles a failure. Master Li Dian, 
You seem to place great value on your sense of intuition. How can you put so much trust in what is simply a gut feeling? It's not a matter of whether I trust them or not. I can't explain it. But it just hits me. Of course, not being able to explain it annoys me more than anyone. Oh, I just got another one. Eugene, I have a feeling you and I are going to get along great. Thank you, Master Li Dian. Somehow, I get that feeling too. Are you sure it's okay? I'm the one protecting you, my lord. Dion Wei. You shouldn't worry about such things. Cao Cao saw all he needed to make his decision. Just because you may have been a lowly ruffian before, doesn't mean you'll always be one. You have earned Cao Cao's trust, as well as a new start for yourself. Dian Wei, if Shao Dun vouches for you, there is nothing for you to worry about. So, can I count on you to protect me? Of course, my lord. I'll guard you with my life. Ah, so this is where you went. This should be enough. I used up everything my grandfather left me to outfit this group. This is my entire force, assembled here. Let's go. You don't want to keep you on Shao waiting. One moment, <laughs> My lord, I have come all this way to fight for you. But you, aren't you from the Hu district? Are you saying you rode all this way for me? That's correct. Uh, I heard that you were declaring yourself, Uncle, and I couldn't stay away. And besides, I had to join you, because we are under the same sky. I see. I hadn't expected you, but I am glad that you came. All right, Shio. The 1,000 League Pawn of the Cow family. You will be in the forefront of my battles. I am here to serve as the vanguard for Cao Cao's glorious army. It is my duty to forge a path through those that stand in our Lord's way. I look forward to fighting by your side. We move!
you, brother. Once we can capture that position, it must be captured at once. My lord, our men are being repelled by the forces of the enemy general, Kuo Xiong, at Sechue Gate. As things stand, we have no chance of passing the gate. What? It's one thing to struggle against Lu Bu, but how is it that we can't overcome Hua Xiong? Send in more men, and overwhelm him with numbers! But my lord, the front lines are low on provisions. Perhaps it would be better to send a supply unit and ensure sufficient supplies first. What? Yuan Shu was supposed to be in charge of provisions! Ugh, he'd better not be sulking, just because he hasn't been made leader! Or maybe he is withholding supplies for a reason of his own. My lord, this is a separate matter, but Dong Zhuo's forces are looting a neighboring village. The villagers have requested our aid to stop them. Ugh, quiet! Now is not the time for me to be worrying about some trifling matter! Then, we will provide the village with our help. Huh? Who are you again? Well, whatever. Your unit doesn't seem very large, so losing you shouldn't make much difference. I will leave the village in your hands. Show the villagers the benevolence of our coalition forces. You were also with the Volunteer Corps during the campaign against the Yellow Turbans, were you not? Ah, Master Cao Cao. I thank you for your aid the other day. I admire your concern for the people. Still, this situation won't last. Surely you have other goals, other desires. Why did you agree to join the Coalition for this battle? I doubt that it was simply to save some tiny village that finds itself in trouble. It is just as you say, Master Cao Cao. I wish to make a name for myself in this battle and gain more strength. That will enable me to help more ordinary people. I'm afraid this is a failing of mine. If I see anyone suffering, I cannot look the other way. But I must be moving on, if you will excuse me. They're a rather odd bunch. Yuan Xiao considered the plight of the village to be a trifling matter. However, that Liu Bei fellow jumped at the chance to help them. On one hand, you slay Dong Zhuo and eliminate the source of the corruption. On the other, you save a village from plunder. It is hard to say which the people prefer. Hmm, I suppose so. Although one cannot afford to be caught up with what's happening right in front of them, you know how to step back and view the bigger picture. 
Hmm. Yes, I suppose I do. We simply need to remain on our path until we achieve our ultimate goal. In that case, we should be going, my lord. Everybody's eagerly awaiting your orders. Hmm. Very well. Our target is Luo Yang. We shall slay the traitorous Dong Zhuo and restore the Han Empire to its former glory. Brave warriors who have gathered under my banner, we will attack Luo Yang and slay Dong Zhuo. Let's go and assist our allies. Hurry! The time has come! Even together, rats are still rats. Don't think you're getting through Su Shui Gate or Pu Lao Gate. by the forces of Dong Zhuo! Our 
own very lives. Village. Thank you. Thank you so much. I never expected to find coalition forces here. Strike now and destroy them. nicely. Army's advance will be stopped here at Su Shui Gate. No one's getting by me. Let's go! The enemy does not stand a chance against our might! There you are, you sniveling cowards! Archer unit! Kill from the battlements! Objective has been decided. All units! Forward! We've brought 
the ramp. Use these to smash the gates in. I never thought I could be beaten. The Coalition Army was a lot tougher than I thought. Yo, <laughs> Things turned out nicely. All right, nice going, cousin. Defend this position. Do not throw a single enemy through. Come, peons. Entertain me. among horses. That's him. Let's get out of here. There's no way we will survive. Lu Yang is just beyond Kula Gate. But first, he has to fight the demon Lu Bu. They will never pass Hulao Gate! Attack from the walls and wipe them out! You have courage to stand before me, but no mere insects such as yourself will pass through Hulao Gate yet. It's time to take the attack to the enemy! Forward! Take the attack to the enemy! Forward! Where did you come from? You won't touch our supplies! Your time's up! It's time to take the attack to the enemy! Forward! This supply depot is on fire! We can't afford to lose those supplies! Your time's up! Pull out gate open? Wow! 
What's going on? How could I be beaten by losers who could not even defeat Dong Zhuo? Next time we meet, your lives will be over. Ah, Lu Bu has your been defeated. Let's sweep on into Luoyang. Such aggressive might. I must begrudgingly respect your ability. Huh. Things turned out nicely. All right! Nice going, cousin! Nope. Oh. You sure know how to... Know your place, Vermin. I won't let you stand in the Sir. way of my dream. A land of debauchery and hedonism. The gates are tough, but the weapons can break through. Ram, forward! You're finished! The front gates are being protected by fences. The rams aren't making much progress. Reporting. Reinforcements have arrived for the mountain base. I am ready. The enemy is going to attack us here! Everyone prepare to defend this spot! Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Your time's up! Yes, your deeds will go down in legend. We move! <laughs> I don't really like defending, but I'll do what needs to be done. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. Bay 
base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! There's an annoying pest. Flittering about. Find it and crush it. <laughs> Your time's up! You can have your turn! We'll retreat to Changdan! We have slain the traitor Dong Zhuo and reclaimed control over Luoyang. This is a famous victory! Sing out in triumph, men! I will never forget this! I am not through yet! Break our oath? Is this how you repay me? <laughs> our oath? Ah, don't make me laugh. This is where you must die. <laughs> you damn minx! You planned this, didn't you? Can no one find the Imperial Seal yet? Now that no one knows where the Emperor is, it is imperative that, as a loyal retainer of the Han Court, I secure that treasure! Find it at once! Hmm. <laughs> How dare he prattle on. As if he has ever achieved anything in his life. With Dong Zhuo dead, and the Emperor gone, there is no point in staying here in Luoyang. The tyrant's death has thrown the land into even deeper chaos. This is the perfect opportunity for me to seize Jin Province and Jian Dong. You just watch. It will not be you who laughs last, Chao, but I. Inheritor of the true spirit of the noble Yuan clan. They say the Imperial Seal's gone missing. Hey, do you think if I found it, that'd make me the Emperor? What are you talking about? I'm going home before someone instigates another mad uprising. Dong Zhuo perpetuated the chaos in the land following the Yellow Turban's rebellion. However, he was not its cause. He merely used it to his advantage. The Han has influence, but no real power anymore. In order to quell this chaos, someone must rise up with new ideals and spread them across the land. 
however. Most of those with power are not content to stop there and seek to satisfy their greediest desires instead. They will only serve to deepen the chaos. Therefore, Master Cao Cao, preparations to move our forces are in place. Where will our destination be? We will go to Xuchang. I require even greater strength if I am to realize my goals. The plan to assassinate Dong Zhuo was thwarted by Master Lu Bu. The coalition army, for which we use Yu and Xiao, also failed to defeat Dong Zhuo. In the end, it was Master Lu Bu who slew Dong Zhuo, in confusion over the relocation of the capital to Shan'an. Cao Cao seems to be doing all the legwork, and Lord Lu Bu ends up taking all the glory. This is a truly pitiful state of affairs. I am starting to have my doubts whether he can really get anything done. In this age of chaos, we need a man who can rise above all others. And I need someone who can help me realize my own grand ambitions.